Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to FS19. Today we're looking at Spud, he's currently harvesting some spuds, go cool figure. And we're taking a look at his setup here. He's got a grimy um, pull behind harvester here, as you can see. And he's rocking a little bit of uh, JCB action there. I think he's the only one in the server who's not running, running a John Deere at the moment. Uh, I think everyone else is running a John Deere of some sorts. And I think we all went a little slightly larger equipment than Spud. Uh, so Spud is like the only one with smaller equipment, but that's because he's harvesting Spud, so it works out a bit better for him to have smaller equipment because his fields aren't crazy enormous like ours are. So I'm just in the middle of a contract here. Uh, I'm just trying to finish up this field here. There we go. Um, I just want to take a look at what Spud was doing over there. I'll give him a hand here in a second once we finish this up. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, trying to make a little bit of extra money here is because uh, we have $87,000, which means we have, we're pretty close to a cedar right now. So last time we bought a cultivator, uh, this time we're going to buy a cedar. Now we could borrow country gaming cedar, uh, for example, that's a possibility. So this is what I'm thinking about right here, this Lemkin Solar 12. Hey, where are you, Spud? And you do need to, uh, to harvest here. before harvest cultivate before so these two are this massive trailer I have. so nine and twelve so this one would be nice. bigger than but I wouldn't need any previous cultivation so I would need to fertilize once when um, fertilize once after I seed basically so that's one of the Whoa. possibilities so we're trying to get kind of close to that amount of money yeah, there it's nearly 60,000 liters not bad there we go making a turn here and the reason why I'm using the hard worker here is just because the hard worker does a better job of uh, of making sure it gets every bit which is why I kind of miss GPS here a little bit this is what the setup looks like from inside I do like this tractor actually it's pretty it's, slick uh, 56, and this is pretty similar to what we use uh, on my in-laws farm actually um, is a tow behind just very similar to this actually I've actually made a couple videos of us harvesting before. Oh, actually, it raises up too. That's kind of neat. So Spud, he's rocking the truck there, like an old Dodger or Ford or something like that. There we go. Not bad at all. It's kind of neat how it raises up like that. The one my in-laws have is very similar in that manner. Uh, in which it actually have to lift it up and you can unload into a trailer and whatnot. Not quite as smooth looking as that though. I'm going to get my straw picked up before I'm sitting here watching you guys. Probably not. I'm surprised your tractor can handle that actually. That's a big uh... Well, this, this is a 300 horsepower tractor. Yeah, well, that's a giant forge wagon though. Yep. Let's see. She's using the rapid Grudemacher. It requires 240 horsepower for it. Okay. I wasn't sure. So that's what that single row potato harvester looks like. It's actually, oh, they did a really good job on this one. It looks really nice, actually. I don't know what that uh, second one here is for. That's your main one. That must be. So Spud, where are you Size sorting? I'm selling them. Hmm. Oh, okay. I've got a heap were, over um, by a tree east of my... Like I said, we're just finishing this up here. To refill the cedar. Hopefully we're going to finish it soon. All right, right, yeah. I'm just pause it. We'll be back in a sec. Hopefully we'll be done by then. Alright, so we just finished that contract on field 11 here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and complete this contract. Thank you very much. Now, Honey was working on this the other day on the server, so I don't know what happened there. It's showing up for everybody has failed, so I'm not sure. Field 13, we've got another spraying mission there. Harvesting mission for spuds, it looks like. Harvesting with sugar beets on field 6. Transporting, no, thank you. Fertilizing on field 4, which is way up there, which is definitely doable as well. So, of $100,000 almost enough money to buy one of those cedars so we have a couple options here 
Um, so we have at a hundred thousand. We are darn close to. We can get this one, no problem. That's a six meter. There's a nine meter here we could get as well, which does direct seeding, or this twelve meter, which we need to cultivate first. So that's kind of like the uh, the tipping point. Do you want to cultivate, or do you want to not cultivate? Basically, they plant the same thing. The, this guy right here is twelve meters versus nine meters, for example, and this will fertilize and cultivate and seed at the same time. So that is what we're working at right now. So $100,000 right here, so we're awfully close. I may just do one more contract here um, so we can get just a little bit, field 13 there, and uh, that should be enough for us to get us to that horse pronto, I think. All right, I'll be back in a moment here. Just hanging out in Spud's uh, JCB here, and one of the things I noticed that was kind of interesting is the fact that it's got the little window up there, uh, which is nice uh, for when you're doing loader work, so you can kind of look up in real life specifically. Um, in this game, I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but Spud's also got a loader for this thing. So when you look up and you're loading something a bit like a kind of above your head, you can kind of look around and have a good view of it, uh, which is kind of neat. So, and I know some of the John Deere's actually have the same thing. I'm sure other companies have the same idea as well. So I don't know about all of them, but I know about JCB now apparently, and uh, John Deere also has something very similar. And uh, in their R series, I believe is one of the options you can get. I forget what they call it, but that's not a moon moon roof, but that's what's coming to mind. So I thought that was kind of neat that uh, that there was that availability there. I'm surprised they don't offer any open station tractors. Every tractor I think I've seen so far has all been like um, has all been like cab tractors. I don't think they offer any open station tractors. Let me take a look at even. Yeah, those are all cabbed. And then the small ones, I think, are the same thing. Yeah. All the tractors are all cab tractors. There you go. Apparently, I'm paying some wages here. There we go. Spuds just unloading us there. It's on hard worker. Uh, with a single row potato harvester, there's just not, there's just not enough. You do have to basically have a hard worker because it's, it's too difficult to do it. Well, not too difficult. It's definitely doable by yourself, but it's not. Uh, without GPS, it definitely makes it a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. So, anyways. I don't like the way that harvester lowers the pipe before the uh, truck clears. Yeah, it's a bit weird, eh? Like, it kind of makes it so, like, you have to kind of be, jump away and zip away before you get dinged with it. Yeah. So. There you have it. That's long. Did that in 16 or 17 or no? Yeah, I can't remember. There we go. So we're just gonna help up, help Spud with his last few passes on the field here. He's got like two or three left, maybe at most. So gonna, this is a hard worker still for the time being. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up that last little section on the left hand side there for him. He's AFK at the moment, so we're just gonna clean it up a little, a little bit maximize the yield I guess would be the best way to describe it there we go there we go let's come over here let's turn her on and then we'll just get this last little bit over here it is lowered is it not oh maybe it is done. Looks like there's still potatoes there, but I guess these ones got run over. That's why, it, that's why it looks like that. But these ones definitely have potatoes. You can still see them. So let's grab these ones over here. There we go. And there's that other little pass on the other side there. Just finish that up. There we go. Make a turn here. That's funny. I can't hire a worker in Spud's field, nor he can hire a worker in mine, but I can harvest his field manually, of course. All right, where are the crops there? Right there, that's difficult to see. Inside the cab, which is why it's nice to hire a worker for these, this particular activity it is so narrow at the back there. There we go, finishing that up. There we go. 
I think that was the last of it. Don't think there was anything else. Nope. Come over here and see if there's anything over there. But I don't believe there is, so. Alright, let's go over to Spud over here. We'll just unload real quick. Take this off. There we go. And then we'll unload into s right over here. I think he said he had l almost full. Maybe he was full. I can't. Oh no, guess not. There we go. Let's see if we can get that last little bit there. No, apparently we totally missed that. Okay, take another pass out of here. There we go, that should get it. And I believe he said he's going to have he's almost full, so there he's full. So he's got a little bit left there. <coughs> and I'll have to work with that when he gets back there, basically. So there you go. Nice. I have to admit, I do like that potato harvester. It does look pretty slick, um, the way it works. And also, the way this truck sounds is very cool. I see Spud is wearing his white not his white shirt he's wearing his red shirt at the moment so there you go it looks like perfect timing our contract on field four here is finished as well i think it's silly how you can uh, hire a worker but i'm okay with it still there we go completed that now we can actually pick up our cedar here so we have a couple options the horse which is direct seed or back. thanks Ian. no problem welcome back so we have these two options and which one do you think we should go for? Uh, hmm. 12 meter, no no direct seating, or 9 meter direct seating? Hmm. <clears throat> the next one up would be this guy right here, which is 215,000. I don't have a tractor big enough. This one I do have a tractor big enough, which I don't understand for. So go up to the Amazon Condor. I don't have one field mind, do so. Up, get them ready to go down to the uh, cell point and. Uh... Um, hmm. I think Spud's got this one. So I'll have a small cultivator. So but with this, I wouldn't have to cultivate all the time. Spud? And this is faster no, than the cultivator, so. Was central grain let's elevator. go ahead and go for this. Now I don't okay, have any options here, so let's go ahead and buy. Oh, okay. So there's no Wish to purchase. Place. Yes. One special no. place to take it. There we go. Take this back to the farm here. And which direction? Time for me to head off, do some e banking, and then head out to work. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, you too, Spud. Yep. You too, Spud. Alrighty. Take care. So we finally yeah, got a day. new cedar. So now we go to Cedar Field without having to borrow anybody else's equipment, which is nice because if you hire a worker, then it goes out, comes out of your bank account, not someone else's, uh, which is nice. So and there we go. Very cool. And of course, the contracts in the game are really helpful. So now we'll be able to do some seeding contracts if we want to as well. Should we go that route at least? Hopefully, uh, I adjusted the sound a little bit of in-game sound. So hopefully it's not as deafening as it was before. A couple people mentioned about that last time, so I apologize. It's always different with new games, adjusting temperature or temperatures, sounds. Apparently though, my sound, uh, I've been told a couple times that my videos always sound a little bit quieter than ever, everyone else's apparently, so. I don't know. I could turn it up more, I suppose. So, like, Ian, that you're would... you saying that you filled up your lime spread, your spreader with lime from... The lime the station, lime yeah. Sta at the BGA. Yeah. Uh, what, what side do you the trailer on? Because... I'm not getting a build point. Uh, make sure you open the uh, the trailer too. 
There we go. That should help. I thought it was like automatically open on its own. No. Try loading now. Uh, yep. I've got that. There you go. Here's the VGA. That's that lime station we were just talking about there. We go down to. Oh, I can go down this way. Oh, no. No. Abort. Abort. That's not a trail down there. That's better. There we go. Let's go head to town. This saves me having to go down to the shop and buy like about seven or eight bags. Oh, yeah. Bags. Yeah, that's totally faster. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, let's head down to the shop here, which is on the right hand side. There we go. And take a look at our cedar real quick, and that'll be that for me for today. Alright, let's head down there and grab that cedar. I love how fast these tractors are in comparison to the cars. No problem. Definitely makes life a little easier. A little bit easier. And also, you use a crazy amount of lime. I didn't realize how much lime you actually use. It's silly. I know. It's like... The, you don't use nearly as that, that much with the fertilizer. I mean, the fertilizer is nothing. No, exactly. Alright. Let's grab this here. This is our new cedar. And while we're here, let's grab a couple pallets. Let's grab a big bag of not salt for Actually, isn't it? when you lime your field, it looks like snow. Buy one of these, yes. And go back, and we need one bag of salt fertilizer. We can afford that. Buy, yes. I don't know which ones are mine now. I think it's the. So, oh, that definitely wasn't mine. Yep, that's kind of hard to tell on the other bags there. I guess that was someone else's fertilizer just filled up. There we go. That should be ours, I think, there. And I guess the other one right beside it. No, that's not quite the right amount of seed. So I guess the two ones in the middle were the ones we were looking for, which would have been impossible to get to, I think. Yeah. And then we should get. Yep. Don't know what happened there. There we go. Now we got almost a full full load's worth. So I guess what we can do here is whoever those were, we'll do a big bag. We'll leave a big bag of seed there for whoever. And then a big bag of salt fertilizer because basically I think we took a chunk of theirs. There we go. Perfect. All right, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed. My name's Ian Rops, and if you like so much, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19. Take a look at that cedar. Nice. We've had this one for ages, I think, though. Oh, goodness. Catch you guys later.